In this industry, we obsess a lot over pre-workout, intra-workout, proteins, all that stuff, but I will tell you, if your heart isn't working, you're not gonna get very far. So today we're gonna talk about RevivMD's heart and what it does for you. When I was in my early 20s, my dad had a few stints placed in his heart, and to give you a little bit of background, my dad is someone who ran marathons well into his 50s, and well, I never expected to have heart problems from him. So since then, I uh, have been particularly concerned about heart health, as it is uh, you know, primarily genetic driven outside of environmental factors like exercise diet so if my dad couldn't fight it with his diet and training well I figure I should probably be looking at supplements to make sure that I'm safe as well so I'm super excited that Revive MDs brought out this heart supplement they already had lipid and blood pressure two mainstays of my supplement stack but there are many different facets to heart health lipids and blood pressure are one of them but heart brings in another uh, key factor and area in the stack so let's talk about what Revive MD's heart does for your heart and what ingredients do, do it specifically So if you're new to Price Spot, this is where we break down ingredients. We get into the nitty gritty of the supplement facts here and talk about what each ingredient here does for you. So we're gonna take it from the top, with the vitamin D and the vitamin K, the vitamins and minerals up top, and then we're gonna go through the actives further there, and I'm gonna talk about what each ingredient is responsible for, and maybe if the dosage or version of it is good for you. So, let's talk about from the top. Revive MD starts with vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 has a new um, FDA regulated labeling laws here where it has to be labeled in micrograms. You're used to seeing IUs. So for the people who haven't seen micrograms yet, it's about 40 IUs per microgram. So we got 50 micrograms here, it's gonna come out to about 2,000 IUs, which is a good starting dose for vitamin D. I usually like to take about at least 5,000 IUs of vitamin D, and that's pretty good because if you're already taking a multivitamin, fat, a vitamin D is fat soluble, and you do not want to be taking too much of it. So here at 2,000, you uh, they're kind of making sure that you're not, you know, in an unsafe territory here. Vitamin D is not expensive, so they're not really like doing this to save money. I would bet it's mostly because it's a fat soluble vitamin. They're expecting you to already be taking a multivitamin or one of their immune uh, uh, products here, and they do not want to be giving you too much. Vitamin D deficiency has been linked to tons of different ailments. It's one of those things that when we see issues in uh, society, usually the people who are sick have lower, ver uh, lower levels of vitamin D. Now, I'm not making any claims on the current going on, but when you look at people who have been suffering in 2020 with a certain ailment, there are definitely lower levels of vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency has also been linked to obesity, hypertension, neurodegenerative, neurodegenerative diseases, osteoporosis, and tons of different issues. Vitamin D is a very beginning, it's the base for all health. It's where I start with most people that want to find themselves in a healthier area, and vitamin D is definitely where we need to start here. Now when it comes to heart health, there is a synergistic ingredient that gets put together with vitamin D, or it should at least, and that is uh, vitamin K. Now, they're using K2 uh, MQ7 here, which is a really high quality version of vi vitamin K. It's another fat soluble vitamin here, so it's really important to be using alongside vitamin D. There are synergies between them, but just the fact that you're gonna be getting them both at the same time means that you can take this with like your breakfast, with some whole eggs and get them uh, absorbed. Now, vitamin K can be found in a lot of different leafy greens, like spinach, but you also can find it in meats. An insufficient intake of vitamin K, kind of like deficiency of vitamin D before we were talking about, can lead to a lot of different issues in the, in the body. There are things in the body called vitamin K dependent proteins, and if you are not getting enough vitamin K in there, th those are going to suffer. One main area is blood coagulation. It suffices to say that vitamin K is super important for all heart health, all cardiovascular health, and we're super happy to see it being put in here now. MK7 is a very spe specific and special version of uh, vitamin K. It is better absorbed, it is more bioavailable, and it has a longer half-life than other vitamin Ks. In other words, it's absorbed better, 
and it saves your body longer. So what more could we be asking for? Lastly, data shows that insufficient intake of vitamin K can lead to calcium buildup on the walls of blood vessels. Obviously, this isn't something that we're looking for, so getting vitamin K in there is gonna be super helpful. You can get it from your spinach, your meat, your fish, or you could take Revive MD's heart, uh, which is definitely a very viable option if your diet varies day to day, or if you just want to make sure to cover your bases. So moving forward, we've got Regina, which is a uh, botanical from Terminalia or Juna. It's a 10 to 1 extract of the bark at 750 milligrams. Rejuna in data has been shown to overall boost heart health. Used to fight things called dyslipidemia, uh, hypertensiveness, congestive heart failure, and chest pain. This is a mainstay in the product. Now this is the point where I tell you that I'm gonna be looking off the screen to cite a couple studies. If you are looking to have a really in-depth read on this on our blog, you can run over to blog.pricewell.com. We have an awesome blog written up on Revive MD's heart. It'll be linked in the description if you wanna check it out. What uh, one randomized controlled trial published in the Indian Heart Health found that volunteers with pre-existing cardiomyopathies uh, volunteered and took 500 milligrams of Arjuna bark extract, just like this, for eight weeks in addition to their normal medical care we're not this is not something that we want to um, recommend instead of medical care there was improved cardiac function over just normal medical care so uh, this helped vastly improve the issues that they were having in addition to what they were already doing we also saw reduced systolic blood pressure as well as increased vo2 max which is more of a performance claim but for heart health if your heart health is not very great we're not going to see gains in vo2 max so all around we see great benefits from taking this specific ingredient so moving forward we have benalia an olive leaf extract at 500 milligrams it's standardized to 16 percent olorapine olive leaf extract is normally a very common thing in heart health products but normally we either see a very generic ingredient or an ingredient that doesn't even have a standardization here. So we're happy to see a trademarked ingredient here that is actually backed by studies and a standardization of both polyphenols and the allurapine. Now, Benalia is not just standardized for 16% allurapines, but also 30% polyphenols. And traditionally, olive leaf extract has been used to treat things like hypertension, gout, as well as diabetes even. It has beneficial effects on blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar levels, which are all generally great markers of health. This is mostly due to its potent properties in, as a micro, microbial, as an antimicrobial, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory. Obviously, Revive could have chosen any kind of generic ingredient here, but they went with something trademarked to make sure that there was data backing it. Now, 500 milligrams daily is the recommended dose here, and so we've got 500 milligrams of this trademarked ingredient, so this bangs out your need in just one serving. So we're rounding out here on the last couple ingredients. We've got curcumin C3 complex. This is a minimum 95% curcuminoids standardization. It's containing curcumin, dimethoxy curcumin, and this is the one I always mess up, buys demethoxy curcumin. I think I got it at that time. We've got 400 milligrams of it here, and C uh, C3 complex here is something that we like to see in all health supplements. Curcumin is extremely powerful for lowering inflammation in the body, which is gonna be really helpful for heart health. Because they're using all three here, your body's gonna be a lot more prepared to absorb it in the gut. Studies actually show that C3, because of the three different versions contained in it, is better at lowering inflammation markers than curcumin itself. Now, curcumin is used in a ton of different beneficial scenarios, but Revive most likely included it in here because it prevents the risk of blood clots and it also lowers overall inflammation, which is gonna help out with things like Defending cells from oxidative stress as a base, but also supporting healthy cholesterol levels, which is going to lead to better health. Now, it is notable here that we've mentioned cholesterol a couple times here, but Revive MD does have their own lipid product, which is a much larger formula. It's about seven uh, pills per serving, and it is really thorough in what it does for the body. So this is great for heart health, and it does have some benefits for cholesterol, but if you're concerned about your cholesterol levels, you should be running over to uh, the lipid product and trying that one out first. Second to last here, we've got coenzyme Q10, which is usually shortened to CoQ10. It's at 200 milligrams. Now, being very honest here, they do not, give us transparently if this is ubiquinone or ubiquinol. Um, if this is ubiquinone, if you are a younger person, you're completely fine. But if you're over the age of, I'd say around 40, ubiquinol is a little bit more important for you to get in. Uh, we don't know which one it is here. I'd like to assume that it's ubiquinol, but just so you know, if you are an older person, I would look into checking out ubiquinol. It's a pretty relatively inexpensive ingredient to add on top of this if you need to, but we do have 200 milligrams of here, which is a pretty healthy dose. Now, this is a naturally occurring compound of the body. It's highly concentrated in humans' mitochondria. It has a ton of different 
roles in the body, but it's mainly involved in producing ATP for the body. And since ATP is pretty much physiologically responsible in every single process of the body, CoQ10 is pretty important here. Even more than that, CoQ10 is one of the most powerful lipid antioxidants that exists in the human body. So it's gonna be really powerful for things like heart health or even brain health as well. This means that it's going to help prevent the synthesis of free radicals within the body and help protect your body from free radical damage. Research suggests a very long list of benefits that include cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, cancer, periodontal uh, disease, mitochondrial disorders, obesity, diabetes, Parkinson's, AIDS, gastric ulcers, and kidney failure, but most often you're gonna see it here mainly dealing with the cardiovascular disease and high blood pressure since it's in a heart product. But that is definitely to say this, this is involved in a lot of different processes and it's an incredible ingredient to get into your body. And at 200 milligrams, you have a very healthy dose here. That all being said, when I talked about vitamin D and K earlier, this is, like I said, a lipid antioxidant, so it's important to take this product alongside some fat. Best time, I would say, is in the morning with, with your whole eggs because you should not be removing the yolks from any of your eggs. Super beneficial for your health and helpful in getting these ingredients in, uh, absorbed into your body. Now the last ingredient here, apigenin at 50 milligrams, is used pretty often. It's in a lot of different categories. That being said, it's a flavonoid that's found in plenty of different plants. And for that reason, alongside a lot, a lot of these other botanicals in here, you should be happy it's a capsule because it probably doesn't taste all that great. Again, this is gonna help with free radical scavenging. It's probably one of the reasons they put it in here alongside many other benefits. But these flavonoids are really powerful for lowering LDL, cholesterol here. Now again, like I said, there's a full lipid product if you're very interested in that, but it is a added benefit of taking the heart product here. Furthermore, it prevents platelet aggregation, which is really important for heart health, as well as decreasing cell proliferation. There's a lot of different data that helps, that, that shows that it helps with a host of different things, including daytime functioning, sleep quality, pain uh, associated with osteoporosis, uh, body weight, symptoms correlated with anxiety and depression, but most notably it helps with blood pressure and it also demonstrates really great cardioprotective benefits. So as you guys can see, the host of ingredients in here brings a lot of different heart health benefits to the table. If you are concerned about your heart health, if your doctor told you to be concerned about heart health, if you are looking to the future with concerns about heart health, this is a product that I cannot recommend enough to get into your body. It's only three capsules, it's pretty affordable. I don't talk about prices too often in videos because they fluctuate over time. This video should exist for years to come but this product is super helpful for heart health and I cannot recommend you get into your product enough. Now, I do have to say at the end here, we are affiliated with Revive MD. We do make uh, affiliate business commissions off of their products. So you can use PriceBlow at uh, checkout for a coupon. I think it's 20% off. But just know that I did get this product for free and we are affiliated with the company. But that shouldn't take anything away from the amount of research that we just cited for these ingredients being backed by actual data. Revive MD is awesome because they are BSCG certified, they're manufactured in great facilities, and the guys behind the brand help with everyone that uses them. If you ever send a DM over to Dom or Matt behind the brand, ask them any questions about the products, they are so helpful to this industry and they are helping bring health to the forefront of sexy companies. I mean, this bottle looks great, and just wait till you see the rebrand coming. So, 2021 is gonna be an awesome year for Revive. We couldn't be more hyped up for them. So make sure that you're checking out the products, make sure you are getting the stuff in your body that can help you. Like I said at the beginning, we're always obsessed about pre-workout, proteins, carbs, interest, but without your liver, your kidneys, your heart here, you're not gonna be getting very far. So guys, really appreciate you making this far in the video. I know this is a bit of a longer one, but it's a little bit more science intensive. I really appreciate you watching the video. If you liked anything about it, if you have any questions, comment below, I'd love to talk to you about it. In any case, I really appreciate you watching the video and have a great day. Welcome to Price Plow.